Two weeks into what was going on in Gaza, we were just so shocked to see what was going on. I remember sitting back and watching that and then realising, well, if they're doing protests in Glasgow, London, Aberdeen, Dundee, why can't we do one here? So me and a friend got together the small groups that we knew of in two days and organised our first gathering for peace. And it was clear from that that there is a demand for more action in Shetland, which you wouldn't really necessarily expect. We're quite cut off from everything in the world here. We've been meeting pretty much every week on Saturdays at 2pm just to get together and build community in ourselves. Shetland is quite a private place for politics and people don't really like saying what they believe in because it's, it's a very small place and you feel like if you put your head above the parapet it could go terribly wrong for you in all walks of life. So this is so important for us that we know that other people in Shetland feel the same way and want to stand for what's right. We like to encourage discussion amongst people in Shetland we do have communities built up, but we don't really know what people believe in. We keep that part private. So having a group where people can speak and talk openly about how they're feeling, it's really important to us. Uh, if we could please take two minutes silence, I'll let you know when it's over. It's not even just a ceasefire that we want. We want the end of the occupation, the end of the apartheid. That's that's our ultimate goal. With Israel doing this pause currently, I think we can become complacent. And I think it's just sick, really. You pause a video game, you pause a movie, but you don't pause a genocide. You don't pause for four days and then go back to bombarding and doing all the atrocities that they've been doing. So I think everyone just needs to keep up the momentum, keep showing up, keep talking to people, keep talking to people at work, your neighbours, your friends, just don't stop talking. We're here holding Palestinian flags here because these are the people who are primarily suffering at the moment. But also for the Israeli people, their security cannot rest on the idea that millions of people are brutally penned in into an open-air prison. Security and justice for their children cannot rest on the subjugation of other people. It's perhaps even more powerful when we embody peace. If we can love peace so deeply, if we can connect with it in our hearts, that peace can shine through us. And it affects every single person we meet, everyone we touch. We've got a few different things in the works. Uh, this is our main one, obviously, the town hall gathering, because in Shetland our transport links are quite poor, um, so everyone can make it on a Saturday. But we're also planning on doing other events. We've got silent vigils planned, film screenings, to continue that education in Shetland. This hasn't just happened because it's the 7th of October. Follow us on Facebook or get in touch. If you just pop along to the town hall on Saturdays at 2pm, we'll be here.